pay raises they couldn't afford and borrowed money they couldn't pay back. Evidence of possible fraud leaves the Sweetwater Union High School District without a superintendent. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kimberly Hunt. ABC 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner is digging into the audit that led to the termination. Dr. Karen Janney has been on paid leave since June after potentially damaging findings were released in an audit. Strong emotions Tuesday from Sweetwater Union High School District parents after learning that Superintendent Dr. Karen Janney has been officially terminated. This district has not been open with the public about everything that's gone on. Nadia Kina Yub's son goes to East Lake High School. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how the schools are going to get affected or how many teachers are going to be available for these kids. Tuesday afternoon, a district spokesperson wrote to ABC 10 News that the vote happened in a board meeting Monday night. Video of it from the district only refers to the termination of an employee. Termination notice. A one certificated management employee with a vote of Hall yes, Pike yes, Aguda yes, Solis yes, Tarantino no. The Sweetwater Union High School District Board of Trustees provided Dr. Jenny a 90 day notice to end her employment agreement. On behalf of the entire Sweetwater community, we want to thank Dr. Jenny for her many years of service and dedication to the district, its board, and our students. According to Transparent California, Dr. Jenny's pay and benefits combined were nearly $294,000 in 2019. She's been on paid leave since a state audit released two months ago showed there was enough evidence that fraud or misappropriation of funds may have occurred within the district. Findings also revealed that the board relied on inaccurate financial information when they approved salary increases for employees, resulting in pay raises they could not afford, and that the district borrowed from capital projects to pay for operations without a method of replenishing those funds. Money troubles date back to 2018 when the district self-reported a $30 million budget shortfall, resulting in teacher cuts, bus route eliminations, and increased class sizes. The DA's office has been reviewing the audit and said Tuesday there are no updates. The Securities and Exchange Commission has been investigating but declined to comment on Tuesday. Jennifer Kastner, ABC 10 News.